Entertainment Earth actually sent me my stuff. All right, guys. Uh, I can't believe it. Entertainment Earth actually sent me something I ordered. And I know that sounds ridiculous and, and me being an ass, but I've actually been waiting on a whole bunch of orders from Entertainment Earth uh, for things that I probably could have ordered from somewhere else, like Big Bad Toy Store or Megalopolis, and they still haven't gotten them to me. And I'm concerned that I'm going to have to pay uh, ex you know, crazy amounts of money to get the items that I ordered. One of them is the last wave of uh, Empire Strikes Back Black Series on the vintage cards. Now, I have all the vintage cards uh, already up on my wall. Uh, it's been on my TikTok and Instagram. If you guys haven't seen it, I absolutely love that wall over there. And they're all in figure shield cases and they look really great on the wall. But there is actually a pocket that is missing from that last wave. I bought two of Boba Fett, so Boba Fett is up there. But that wave includes uh, Darth Vader, a snow trooper, along with Boba Fett. I think it's Luke on Hoth and one other one that I can't remember. But there's a hole on my wall where those figures are waiting. And I've been waiting forever to get those. Now, I called Entertainment Earth and they said that they're waiting and Hasbro is going to make one last wave, but only what they have for pre-orders. I pre-ordered it. And it's been out, and we're already a year past that. I know with real-world circumstances, things have kind of been different. But I'm still waiting on those, and it's frustrating because now they've almost doubled in value on eBay and Amazon and other different sites from secondhand sellers. And I don't want to pay that for something that I already pre-ordered. So needless to say, I am excited that they actually sent me something that I ordered it's just very late. So on YouTube, everybody else has these items already. It's uh, Dark uh, Side Vision Ray as well as uh, Moth Gideon. Uh, over here, you can see the front and back of Moth Gideon. And over here, we'll do close-ups of Dark Vision Ray. Um, again, these have already been done by other YouTubers, a whole bunch of other reviews done. But I figured I'd open these up with you so that you can kind of see, hey, I actually got these from... Uh, Entertainment Earth. Again, just frustrated at how late they finally got to me, but they did get to me, so I'm happy about that. There are just other orders that I don't understand why, especially if I pre-ordered them, why they're taking so long to get here. Um, I also ordered two of the Dark Side Ray. Um, different orders, completely different orders, hoping to get both variants of it, and I understand it's one location. Um, if you noticed uh, in other YouTube reviews, there is a variant with this figure. She comes with uh, a version where her lightsaber is gold and one where it is gray. And I have two of the gray um, versions. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, this is the first and only Black Series figure that is in this type of packaging for uh, Episode 9. And Moff Gideon, he's been out for a little bit. Um, but I basically wanted him so I can get the Darksaber for the Mandalorian. And I think he looks pretty badass. And... Uh, he's going to look great on the shelf as well, even with his little blaster. So let's go ahead, open these up, and see what we're working with. So here is Moff Gideon. Uh, he looks foreboding with his Darth Vader-esque cape. Um, I was really impressed with the facial sculpt on this figure. He looks phenomenal. And he comes with two accessories, the first being the dark saber, And I believe that comes off. So if you want, you can have just the hilt. And it also has the blade, but we are not going to display it like that because this thing is too cool um, not to have the blade in it. So we're going to have that. And he also comes with uh, his small, whoops, his small pistol. And he does have a holster for his pistol. And it does fit in nice and snug right there. And if we want, he can hold the dark saber just like that. Stands fairly well on his own. He looks great. Uh, I'm sure you guys, if you're watching this, you've seen some other videos on this figure. But he's really good. If you guys see him in the wild, definitely pick him up. Just because the facial sculpt alone looks fantastic. And he comes with the only version of the Darksaber in the Black series. And it'll be great to go with Bo-Katan if she gets it in the future. Or with uh, our Mandalorian later on down the road. Because right now... At the end of Season 2, Mandalorian has a Darksaber, and it's definitely going to cause some conflict down the road. But I would highly recommend picking up this figure. He looks great, stands great. He's going to look great on the shelf, even 
without the dark saber because like i said i think i'm gonna have one of my mandalorians holding this thing uh but he looks great let's go ahead and open up dark side ray all right guys and here's dark side ray uh here she is with her double bladed lightsaber i was actually very impressed with this figure i thought it was gonna be uh all the molded plastic and it, for the most part it is but she actually has this cloth cape right here which Again, I, I, it's something small that I was very surprised about. And just some of the details on this figure, she has almost like a crisscross uh, on this hand for her ring. It's on her left index finger, and it's something that I didn't notice in the movie, but it's on the figure. And that's kind of why I like these uh, obscure figures or ones that don't get a lot of screen time, because you can kind of look at it and appreciate all the detail that went into making this uh, character on the big screen appear. Now some of the issues that I ran into is this lightsaber right here pops off really easy when I was taking it out um, but it pops right back in um, with the folding mechanism. I think this is how I'm going to display her on the shelf. I believe it was the front or the top lightsaber that she was holding and then this one kind of folded backwards if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've seen episode 9 but again if you remove the lightsaber blades which they can be removed and uh, they have to go back in that specific way. Now, there's a divot cut out on the blade itself, and it has to go in that specific way back into it. But it, it wasn't hard. It, it, sometimes it's easier to completely remove this other lights, lightsaber blade right here to kind of get this one into her hand. She has the feminine hands, so they're a little bit closer together and a little bit harder to open up. But once you get that lightsaber in, that sucker is not coming out. But I think this is how I'm going to display her on the shelf. I'm really glad I finally got her. Again, I'm just disappointed with how long it took Entertainment Earth to actually get her in my hands. But now that I have her here, uh, she looks great. She's going to be a great addition to my collection. Um, I have one sealed as well. I don't think they're going to make this figure again. If they do, it's not going to be for a long, long time. So if you get the chance, pick this one up because I think it's the first figure that they released in this new packaging style for episode nine. They're probably going to release the others gradually in that line, but not for a while, especially with how the sales and uh, all the backlash, not necessarily backlash for that film, but just the disappointment in that film. So Keep your eyes out for this one if it appears. Again, she is a lot of molded plastic, but once you get her into that stance, it's pretty easy to have her on the shelf. Uh, I thought it would have been cool if they had some of the teeth with, you know, the jagged teeth that she had, but she still looks dark, foreboding, and it's going to be a great addition into the Sith that I have on my shelf. All right, guys, so what did you think? Dark Side Ray blew me away with the level of detail. I like the ring on her hand. Uh, the lightsaber, it falls apart, but she looks great just like this. And I thought she was going to be all molded plastic, but she's got this cloth cape in the back. So I really like this one a lot more than I thought I was going to. Moff Gideon, I knew he was going to be a fantastic figure, but the main reason why I wanted him was that dark saber. That's going in my Mandalorian's hands, or at least one of the ones that I have on the shelves. But let me know in the comments down below, which version of Dark Side Ray is hard to get? Is it the silver or the gold hilted lightsaber? I, I don't know, but I'm just happy to have her. Entertainment Earth, you guys got to get faster on this or or give me updates. Fill me in on what's happening with these orders so I don't, you know, I'm not waiting and waiting. On a side note, if you guys are watching this, you're collectors, guess what? United States Post Office has limited edition uh, Star Wars stamps, and they're all droids. We got a going droid, uh, a medical droid, uh, R2-D2, BB-8, K2SO, and a slew of others. So... I got myself two sets of these, one to put on birthday cards for family members, friends, and to put on bills when I run out of regular stamps, and one to keep in a drawer for years to come. So let me know, are you guys a stamp collector? Did you already get these? Did you pick these figures up? I know these are old, they've been out for a while, but I just got my package in today. Um, thanks, Entertainment Earth. I guess I'm happy to have these, but this late? I don't know. I'm Batkerm. I'll see you in the next one. Batkerm out.